Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the content that we put out on a daily, weekly basis. Now, if at the end of this video, you want to get in contact with me to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call to talk about your training business, then there's two ways you can do that. The first way, if you visit the, my calendar in the description of this video, you'll be able to, to book a free 15 to 20 minute call at your convenience with the times that are available. Or if that's something that you, you don't want to do and you just want to send me a direct uh, message, then you can do that as well, sending it to my email address, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, so let's get straight into today's video. Today's video is talking about how to stay organized, right? So if you are a football slash soccer trainer and you have a business, right, I want to share with you three things that are going to help you to become more organized so you can dominate your day, you can dominate your business, stay on top of your business and just thrive and, and succeed in this type of industry. Now, for those that don't know, I work with soccer coaches and soccer trainers on a, on a daily basis, right? And also I speak to coaches every single day. That's one of my, my main jobs here at our company is to connect and speak to coaches who are currently doing this and are in this industry and some of the most successful coaches that I've spoken to are actually coaches who are in our program here at Make Money Coaches Sports. So what I want to do is I want to share with you three things that they do to become successful. And you can take away the, the strategies, the tips and implement it into your business. Right. So the first thing to stay more organized and to, to become more successful is you need to make sure that everything you do in terms of payment with clients is all automated and online, right? So when you are functioning on a session to session basis, which means parents are paying you cash in hand after every session, that is a way of losing money. Because not only do you lose money in the sense that parents might not show up to your session, but you also lose money because every single day you're, you're going to have money in your pocket and it's going to be a temptation for you to spend it. All right. So this is something I speak about on previous videos is when you have lots of money and if you, you know, some coaches do really well in one day and they make a lot of money doing back to back air training sessions. And if you got a big amount of, of cash in hand, the likelihood is that one, you might lose some of it. You know, you might be packing up your, your session, head into the car and suddenly you, you know, you drop a, a little bit of that money or on the drive home, you know, you're tired, you're exhausted and there might be an, a temptation to go and blow that money on, on something. It might be on a restaurant. It might be on, on alcohol. It might be on anything else, right? So all your 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 sweat, all your hard work just gets blown in 10 minutes on the drive home because you're sitting on that on that cash and the temptation to spend it is so huge. Right? So the most successful uh, trainers that we work with uh, have everything automated online. So that way coaches are never feeling or touching or grab or taking hold of that money ever, right? It all all their, their clients are doing is they're paying them online for their services and that money is getting transferred from the client straight into their business account, which means the temptation to either lose or to spend gets smaller because ultimately you're not seeing that cash, right? Everything is being done behind the scenes through an automated payment system, right? And that helps you with your finances 
because it keeps you up to tr like on track with what's going in what's coming out of your your business account but also you're not losing any cash right the worst thing you want to do is have a really good day where you're doing back-to-back -back sessions you're working really hard and then you go and lose all the money you you worked hard for in that day right when you do everything automated and you have an online payment system that becomes not not a problem at all okay so the first thing is coaches the most successful trainers that uh, are thriving at the moment in this industry are the ones that have everything automated and online right now the second thing that coaches in this industry are doing to stay successful is they have all their sessions set out on a set day and set time so this means that they're not operating on a sporadic basis right now what 97 percent of all football trainers are currently doing so football trainers soccer trainers in this industry what they do is they will text their clients on a sunday and they will ask the clients what day are in this week you want to train. Now, when you give your clients the authority, when you give clients the choice, then ultimately they dictate your schedule. And if you want to stay organized with your business, then you can't have clients dictating what time day that you guys are training. So the most successful all have a set day, set time during the week that they are doing their training sessions now the reason why you also want to have that is because if you dedicate the set day set time during the week to work with your clients the time you are away from the field then you can commit to doing your marketing uh, your your selling right getting on sales calls with clients doing your marketing creating social media content, right? Just building your brand and building your business. If you have your, your business set up where it's sporadic, where clients are, are dictating what days during the week you guys are training, then ultimately you're at their mercy, right? Whenever they want to train, then you go running and ultimately you're operating like a delivery person. Right, so a client phones up uh, your local Domino's, they want a pizza, right, well, and then you're there delivering that session, right? We don't want to operate like a delivery person. We want to operate like a professional, a soccer trainer that has a successful business, that has a set day, set time that they work with their clients. Now, if your clients can't make it at that time, then we can maybe look to be a bit more more lenient or find ways in order to accommodate them but what i want to encourage you to do is make sure you have a set day set time where you work with your clients so that that way you can make time to grow in the business right not working in the business but working on the business i see a lot of especially one-to-one -one trainers who just bring on more clients more clients and then it gets to a point where they're working with 30 40 clients per week and they've got no time during the week to do their sales calls, to grow the business, to work on the business, to answer emails. And ultimately, all they're doing, they're just training, 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 training. And you can't build a long-term business just being 24-7 on, on the pitch, right? You need to do the, the work away from the pitch that's going to grow the business right the branding the marketing the selling right the building partnerships around your local area speaking to parents right growing your program okay because ultimately when you do when you when you're working with 30 40 clients one to one per week that that eats up all your time and ultimately what, what i've seen with coaches is that when they're working that way they get so tired and burnt out and they, that they've got no time during the week to actually grow the business. All right. So what we want to do is we want to have a set day, set time with clients where we as the trainer 
are telling our clients, this is the day and this is the time that I do my training. If this works, then great. If it doesn't, then unfortunately we can't work together and you can't train with me. Okay, so we, we want to be firm, we want to be strict with our time and how we use our time. Right, the third thing is, and this one's a really good one, this is something that a lot of coaches have started doing and it's got really, really great results. And it goes back to my second point, but this is ha do all your training in one day of the week, right? So I remember when I first started my football academy, what I did is I wanted to, I wanted to, to, to have clients train every single day. And the reason why I wanted to do that, and it sounds ridiculous really, but I wanted to feel as though I was a full-time trainer, okay? And by feeling like I was a full-time trainer, then I was coaching every single day. But it got to a point where I, I started to hate what I was doing because when, when you're training and you're coaching takes up so much time in your day, there's no, there's no time to relax. There's no time to actually enjoy uh, things away from the sport, which you need in order to, to recover, recharge your batteries. And also I didn't have time to spend with my family because I was always on the pitch. That was my focus at the time. Okay. So what I did is I transitioned all my training to one day in the week. Right, so all my one-to-one -one training was was done on on that on that specific day, and all my group training was done on that specific day. So any client, any brand new client that was contacting me to to work with me at, or inquiring about my services, I would say to them, right, this is the set, this is the day that I do my training, and these are the available time slots we have. Now, what I started to notice is that, you know what? I had more free time during the week to do my marketing, to grow my social media presence, to create content, uh, to speak to parents, to connect with local schools, you know. And also, I worked really, really hard one day per week with my training, with my clients. And then the rest of it, I was able to enjoy and do what I wanted to do away from coaching. So, and I wasn't trapped with my clients every single day, Monday to Sunday, right? So essentially what I did, I moved all my training onto Saturday and any new client that came to me, I said to them, right, the training is on Saturday. If you want one to one, these are the time slots I have. If we haven't got time slots, then unfortunately, we're going to have to put you on a waiting list, right? Or you can jump into the group training that we have available. So it was really easy because when I started to talk with parents and market my business, I knew that, right, between 9 to 12 was all my group sessions. So any client that wanted group training can jump into one of those groups. And between one to three in the afternoon was my one-to-one -one sessions. And if I was fully booked with those one-to-one -one sessions, then I'd put all the clients on a waiting list. And if an available slot came up, then great. If not, then they just have to, to go and train with someone else, right? So I had to be firm. I had to be strict and organized with my time because I was slowly realizing that I was getting burnt out and I was, I was slowly hating what I was doing. So I transitioned it all to one day, which allowed me to get more organized. Uh, and the business just ran a lot smoother because I knew that, right, this is my schedule. These are the time slots that I have available. Can I fit this client in? Yes, if I can't, then we put them on a waiting list. Okay, so if you have any questions with regards to how to stay more organized, how to build your business, how to start, how to grow, right? 
I want you to reach out to me, as I mentioned at the beginning of the, this video, and as I mentioned on every single video, there's two ways you can reach out to me. Number one, you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, where we can jump on a Zoom call, and I can answer some, some of your questions that you might have. I'll also ask you questions about your business, or you can send me a direct email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I respond, I make it a mission, and I respond to every single coach that reaches out to me with questions about their, their business, their idea, or what they want to do to get to the next level. All right? thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.